and welcome once again to our high school team teach Zoom live stream lesson. It's Miss Andrea, Miss Cassie, and I, and we are here with Nathan, Molly, and Ella. Today we are going to uh, switch to a new subject for March. Our theme is learning about the weather. So we're going to have a science-based uh, curriculum theme this month. And our first lesson is going to be just talking generally about the weather on this epic book. And then when we're done with the book, we are going to make our, we're going to start a weather chart that is behind me. So, I am going to the page, and I'm not sure who's reading first. Let's go to the end of the um, Yeah, we can get started. All right, it's me. Flashes and bangs. A giant dark cloud, many miles above Earth, fills the sky. Suddenly, a jagged flash of lightning shoots from the cloud. Seconds later, a loud clap of thunder fills the air. The weather report was right. It is said it said today's weather would bring thunderstorms. Anybody here a fan of thunderstorms? I am. Weather, what is it? Weather is what is going on in the sky and air. Different places can have different kinds of weather at the same time. Like here in Michigan, we often have lots of different types of weather in the same day. In one place, there may be a thunderstorm. In another place, there may be snow. And yet another place, the weather may be sunny and warm. Temperature, how hot or cold it is, is always a part of weather. Rainy weather. When drops of water fall from clouds, the weather is rainy. Sometimes lots of rain falls, which is called heavy rain. Other times only a little rain falls, which is called light rain. Rainy, light rain, and heavy rain all describe the weather. Does anybody here like the rain? When I'm inside, not when I'm outside. <laughs> I like yeah. listening to it inside. It's not very fun to be caught in rain. Plus, it's really hot. Sometimes a light rain when it's really hot is nice because it cools you off. That's, That's true. true. All right, speaking of the opposite of hot, we are on to snowy weather. Sometimes the air around a cloud is very cold. Then, some of the clouds' water drops freeze. They become tiny pieces of ice that stick together. Then, snow falls from the cloud. A storm that brings cold, strong winds and lots of snow is called a blizzard. I don't know about anyone else, but I am ready for the snow to be finished that time of year. Mm. <laughs> But when we had our snow day uh, a couple of weeks ago, that was because we had a blizzard. A lot of snow fell overnight. All right, hailstones. Thunderstorm clouds sometimes produce tiny balls of ice called hailstones. How does this happen? Wind. And these storms tosses water droplets way up high where it is icy cold. The droplets freeze into little balls of ice and then fall back lower in the cloud. New water droplets coat the ice balls and they are tossed high again where they refreeze. This process may happen several times before the hailstones fall to earth. And there's a picture of some hailstones there. They're kind of neat looking. Yeah, when hailstones are forming, they kind of do this. They, they go in a circle where they start in the clouds and they start to fall, but then the wind pushes them back up into the clouds where they get a little bit bigger and then they fall down. And that happens until they are too heavy for the wind to push them 
back up into the clouds and they fall straight down. Hopefully not on your car. All right, so next is breezes and gales. It's not possible to see wind, but it is around on most days. Wind can be a gentle breeze that moves the leaves on a tree and makes them rustle. It can also be a gale, a strong wind that can snap branches off of trees. I don't know how it has been down here, but at my house, it's been pretty windy these past couple of days. Swirling hurricanes. Sometimes a huge storm called a hurricane begins over the ocean. It may grow to be 600 miles wide, as wide as the state of Montana. Inside the storm, powerful winds swirl around in a circle. The winds may reach speeds of 200 miles per hour. If the hurricane moves over land, it can pull up trees and destroy buildings. And there are scientists who are called hurricane hunters and they fly an airplane into a hurricane so that they can study it and get some information so they can keep the people safe. What is a tornado? Tornadoes are giant whirling columns of air with the power to suck up houses. A tornado starts when air in a thunderstorm cloud begins to spin. The spinning air moves faster and faster. Finally, the tornado hits the ground, destroying everything in its path. Has anybody actually been through a tornado? I have, when I was in high school, we were at basketball camp at Western Michigan University. There was a tornado that went through Kalamazoo. The sky was green. I've seen the green sky, but I've never actually been in a tornado storm. Extreme weather. Here are some unusual and record-breaking weather events that have happened in the U.S. So this square here with the green mountains talks about a mountain in Hawaii that is one of the wettest places on earth and it gets uh, 450 inches of rain a year. I don't know what that is in feet because I'm not good at math. 11 meters. So that's over 30 feet of rain which is a lot. And it's then, 37 and a half feet. Thank you, Miss Cassidy. This picture here that shows snowy trees says on April 14 and 15 in 1921, so 100 years ago, a record breaking 75 inches of snow fell in one day in Silver Lake, Colorado. So we got probably six to eight inches a couple of weeks ago for our snow day. They got, they got many, 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 many more. Is that six feet, 75 inches? Like, Miss Andrea is nodding yes. My yeah, math, right around there. My math skills are on, are on display today and they're frightening. <laughs> This picture here of uh, it's purple and it's got like a almost sounds like a coronavirus. It says in 2010, a giant hailstone fell from the sky in South Dakota. The hailstone was eight inches across, and that that's like let's see. I have my ruler here, and this is how big the hailstone was, which hopefully didn't hit anything or anybody. And then the last picture for extreme weather 
is this tornado. It says in March 1925, a tornado traveled from Missouri through Illinois and into Indiana. It covered a distance of 219 miles. Um, and it destroyed a lot of towns. And this little arrow here is the path of one tornado, which is pretty extreme. So one of the ways that we measure weather is by creating a chart so we can mark each mark the weather each day and see if it's staying the same or see how it changes. And behind me, I have the start of our weather chart. Is everybody able to read that okay? All right. So today it says Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. That is today. We need some help to say what the weather is today and we'll put it on our uh, chart. So, is there any volunteer who would like to go first? Hey, Nathan, can you push the button to take yourself off mute? All right. So, what would you say the weather is like outside today? It looks like you're near a window. What do you see outside? It's snowy. You have some snow on the ground still? Yes. Okay. Um, what is... What do you see up in the sky, buddy? Yeah, what's the sky look like? It is sun. Oh, it is sunny. So you know, and, and I can see some sun coming in the window behind Miss Molly, too. I know it's sunny where Molly's at. You guys have sun coming through at your house, too, Ella? And it looks like it. So we're, we're going to know as we keep going through the week that Wednesday was sunny. But the other part of weather we need to know is the temperature, which is how the air feels. And has anybody been outside yet? No. Well, you're missing out. What was the temperature again? I can't remember, Miss Case and Andrea. It was about 45 degrees. So 45 degrees some sun is that going to feel cold is it going to feel warm oh, cold. or is it going to feel hot hot what which three do we think do we feel that that's oh, warm. he says warm what do you think, Molly? Warm. Ella's got a smile on her face with warm. <sighs> so 45, the air normally isn't super warm, but with the sun there, I think it's going to feel like a pretty nice afternoon. And the more the sun shines, the warmer it's going to get. So I think warm is a pretty okay temperature to put on our weather chart. So we are going to continue making our weather chart throughout the week. We're going to fill out the rest of the days. And then I think next week's lesson, we're going to at least check in to see how the week went and what the weather looked like. And then if you study it for a longer period of time, that's how you get to know what climate does. So stay tuned for that. Does anybody have any questions or comments or anything to add? Oh, all good. Then thank you for joining us. 
and enjoy the sun. Bye, guys. Have a good Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.